Welcome into the first ever edition of the Forrester Hockey Player Profile. I'm Cam McGuire, voice of Lake Forest men's hockey, and I'm joined by senior Billy Kent. Bill, what a junior career it was for you. 245 games, kind of all over the place. Talk to me a little about your experience in juniors, where you were, and how you ended up in these places. Yeah, thanks, Cam. I definitely had a, a long experience playing junior hockey. Um, started out in uh, my senior year of high school playing in uh, New England, Massachusetts. Um, played there for about a year, year and a half, and then I got a, a trade to a team in New Mexico, a uh, different league in the North American League, and um, that kind of just opened my eyes up to, to how big the junior hockey circuit is. So um, from there, I, the team folded actually at the end of the R season, so I went back home, got to play in Rochester, so that was good for my final two years. But um, yeah, that's, that's a lot of games I didn't even know <laughs> <laughs> that was how many it was, but <laughs> yeah, geez. And Bill, talk to me a little bit about how you ended up here at Lake Forest. So um, I, my coach in Rochester uh, knew Coach Kelleher because he's from Rochester as well. So that was the connection there and um, got recruited primarily through hockey and just came out to the school, you know, didn't know much about it and, and you know, just fell in love with the place. Um, the academic reputation, you know, speaks for itself. So that was like a big, you know, a big thing for me to, to be at a school like that. So. Through three seasons thus far, Bill has participated in 72 out of the 78 games that he has been here. His freshman year scored seven goals, sophomore year nine goals, and junior year seven goals. You've had 23 goals, you've had 15 assists, 38 points in 17. 72 games, that's a pretty impressive track record. What do you think your biggest attribute is hockey-wise? Um, I like to think... You know, my, my hockey sense is, is something that, you know, I bring to the table. Um, I like to, you know, anticipate plays, you know, one or two steps in advance, you know, kind of read what the team's going to do that you're playing against um, and just have good, like, hockey vision. So I think, you know, I combine that with, you know, decent, you know, stick skills and play set. So um, just working with my line mates and, and making plays. Uh, the NCHA welcomes a new team to the conference this season, Trine University. You guys will travel there this Saturday for an exhibition game. But you look at all the different ranks in the NCHA. You look at St. Norbert's, MSOE, Marion, just to name a few. What's your favorite away barn to play at? Yeah, I think St. Norbert's is definitely a favorite. Um, and then Adrian is a close second. They kind of, you know, they fill those barns. Um, it, it's a really energizing place to play. It gets you gets you hyped up for the game. Um, so I, I put those in number one and two for sure. Bill, your sophomore year at Lake Forest, you guys played an outdoor game at the Winter Club here in Lake Forest, Illinois. You guys played Aurora. You won six to one, and yourself, you had two goals. What was that experience like playing outdoors? Um, that was an experience I've I've never had the opportunity to do prior to that. Um, you know, anytime you get to play. In a, in a setting like that is, is a pretty special moment. Um, it was an adjustment process, I remember, just trying to get used to, like, to the lighting and the shadows of it all, but I think, you know, once the puck dropped and, and you, the adrenaline starts pumping, like, that was such a, a cool feeling to be outside, and, you know, we had a pretty good crowd show up, so it was, it was a definitely a, a experience that I think we'll all remember. And that was, that was in middle of December. That one was cold from what I can remember. Did that affect you guys on the ice at all? Um, we normally have a pretty cold rink here so i think we we're used to that um i can't remember the exact temperature but that was definitely something we were ready for oh yeah sure. for sure yep and bill going into your senior year here what are you looking forward to most about this upcoming season um personally i i think i'm looking forward to kind of just like slowing down the season a little bit and enjoying every moment because you know these things won't happen again you know for a lot of the senior guys so um, just taking it day by day, enjoying the little things about the season, and you know, giving it a good shot this year. So, Billy, Charlie is Aguirre, Sean Nelson, and George Chirosmo. You guys are a part of this senior class. You've lived together since sophomore year. You guys live in a house now off campus. What? Walk me through a little bit about what it's been like living with them for three years. Yeah, it's 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 been a lot of fun. Um, you know, the the four of us kind of you know mesh together with with you know how we you know, interact with each other and, you know, our, our manner. So um, it, it's been fun living with them in the dorms, and now we have a house, like you said. So it, it's, it's, there are a lot of good guys in the house. So got to ask you, who does most of the cooking in the house? Um, George definitely tries. Um, he gives it a good <laughs> shot. But, um, you know, I do a bit of the cooking, and it's, it's all pretty even. So I feel like Chuck maybe, maybe a little less than you guys. 
Yeah, yeah. Your word's not mine, but I'll agree <laughs> with you there. <laughs> so I got to go back to Sean Nelson. You guys, you know, you've played on a line together a good amount of the time that you guys have been here. And I look back to your freshman year, your seven goals, he assisted four of those goals. It seemed like every play he was contributing. And we take a look at this clip right here. Look at this. Explain to me, like, does he, does he do everything for you? <laughs> uh, yeah, he, he does a lot for sure. He's, he's a good person to play with. Um, we came in freshman year and kind of just had a, you know, a little chemistry right off the bat. So I think Coach Kelleher just kind of rolled with that. You know, that was a, like, we played a lot together the first year, and um, we saw some pretty good success. And, um, you know, I, I really hope we can you know, do that this year too. All right, a lot of interesting characters on the hockey team. I got to ask you, who's the biggest clown on this squad? <laughs> I see. I think I got to give it to the tag team of you know Bron and Louis. Um, you know, they kind of just make you know jokes out of anything, so they can lighten the the mood when when need be, and they're good guys to definitely have in the locker room. So. All right, and if you're stranded on an island with one guy on this team, who would you want it to be? Ah. Uh, Thought about that one a bit, but I, I gotta go. I think I gotta go with Sean. Oh yeah, I knew it. I yeah, knew it. That was that was probably a given, but you know, I think he's a good guy to have, you know, for like survival kind of things like that. So I think he he'd be pretty useful in that sense. So Yeah, he seems like a pretty handy guy. I think I'd definitely he'd be in my top five for sure. Yeah, for sure. And then Bill, you know, graduation obviously looking way down the road here, but what are your plans for after graduation? Uh yeah, it, it's definitely on the mind of, of all of the senior guys for sure. But um I think you know, I, I'm trying to just, like, short-term, like, interview and try to get some applications in and stuff and then just get a job somewhere around the area. Um, two, three years out, go to grad school, you know, stay in the area and then, you know, use that to, you know, propel into a career. And, Bill, you look back at your three years and this being your fourth year, what an experience, I'm sure, what an experience you've had here at Lake Forest College. When you look back at it, I mean, 10, 20 years down the road, what are you going to miss most about this place? Um... I think the home hockey games are, are definitely the, the one thing about, you know, the hockey I'll miss the most, you know, just being with the guys around the locker room and, and coming out and, you know, playing games on Friday, Saturday nights. That's that's something I'll, I'll never forget. And, um, you know, definitely just like the experiences and the people that you meet here because, you know, I've had the, the good fortune to meet a lot of, you know, great people at the school and, you know, professors, tutors and all that. So it's been, you know, a great, you know, um, four years at the school. All right, Bill, that's all I got for you, and congratulations. You're the first ever Profile Edition. Thanks for talking to me today. Thanks, Cam. I'm honored. <laughs> and, folks, follow along at LFC Puck on Twitter and Instagram all season long for Forrester Profiles, as well as many behind-the-scenes looks. Folks, I'm Cam McGuire, and this is Billy Kent. Thanks for watching.